Ah. In this hour of mercy, this day in our lives that we have is an opportunity for us to give proof of our love for God. This day, to pour out our hearts in thanksgiving, to show forth the gratitude of our hearts that everything good that we have, every breath that we take is a gift right from the Almighty's hands. And today we want to ask for the grace to be able to imitate Jesus, the eternal Son of the Father, to imitate Jesus, to make Jesus visible to our brothers and sisters. Today, as we come to the altar of the Lord, we want Jesus to adorn us with those virtues in the practice of which we endeavor to imitate Jesus. To be that bread that is broken, blessed and given to the brother, that they may be strengthened on their journey. And in all the efforts that we take to strive to be like Jesus, all the efforts that we take towards self-mastery, that in mastering ourselves, so as not to be dominated by our passions, but rather to master our passions and desires. And in this, as we strive to be like Jesus, strive for that self-mastery, we're able to possess ourselves. And in possessing ourselves, we're able to give a gift of ourselves. We're able to make a self-gift only when we possess ourselves. And so we should strive to cast off the bonds, the chains of slavery in which we have led ourselves captive by not fighting the good fight, by compromising, by giving in to the pleasures of sin, and not walking the path of self-denial. Whereas the Master's voice rings clear, telling us those who desire to follow Him must deny themselves, take up their cross in order to follow Him. And often, we have let these words let this call of the Master fall on deaf ears, while as we've been more attentive to the tantalizing pleasures of the world, beckoning to us, the world pretending to be our friend while remaining our enemy. And we know as the scripture tells us, the friendship with the world is enmity with God. And so today as we bring ourselves to the altar to adore Jesus, the King of mercy, that we may confirm our lives to the Lord entirely and wholly. We present ourselves that the Lord may shower His mercy upon us.
the shepherd of our soul. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come, Lord, as we lift up our lives to you, Lord. Here we are, Lord, giving you all that we have received. Lord, here we are offering our lives to you. Be exalted, Lord. Lord, be exalted, for holy is your presence. Holy is your love. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bow down before you. And Lord, we worship you now. Our great, our awesome are you. And holy are you, O God, in our midst. We stand and lift up our hands For the joy of the Lord is our strength We bow down and worship Him now How great, how awesome we see We stand and lift up our hands but the joy of the Lord is a strain. We bow down and worship you now. How great, how awesome see. Together we sing. Everyone sing. Holy is the Lord. God Almighty, the earth is filled with your glory, the earth is filled with your glory, holy is the Lord, God Almighty, the earth is filled with his glory, holy is the Lord, God the earth is filled with His glory The earth is filled with His glory It's rising up all around It's the anthem of the Lord's renown It's rising up all around is the anthem of the Lord's renown. Together we sing, everyone sing. Together we sing, everyone sing. Holy is the Lord. God Almighty, the earth is filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord. We worship, Lord. We thank you, Savior. Light of the world, praise be. King of kings, Lord of lords.
We bow down and worship you now. How great, how awesome is He. Together we sing. Everyone sing. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the resembling Jesus we are called to show ourselves as a chaste person or a chaste person maintains the integrity of the powers of life and love placed in him or her As we know, the body and soul are united and it is separated only at death. And therefore, when the body is defiled, it defiles the soul as well. Both the body and soul stand together and fall together. And therefore, a chaste person maintains the integrity of the powers of life and love placed in him. And this integrity of the powers of life that a chaste person maintains, the integrity of the powers of life and love placed in him, ensures the unity of the person and it is opposed to any behavior that will damage this integrity that shows forth the unity of a person, the body and soul being united. No one who readily defiles his body will be blameless in his soul. Such a person, a chaste person, does not tolerate a double life, nor duplicity in speech. Such a person will behave and maintain a pure life even when this person is not seen by others, as when this person is seen by others and chastity that our Lord is calling us to. And we're sure that the Lord is calling us to this chastity because when the rich young man in Matthew chapter 19 comes and asks Jesus, good master, good teacher, what must I do to gain eternal life? Jesus speaks to him about the commandments and speaking to him about the commandments, do not murder, he mentions adultery, do not commit adultery. And he says, keep these commandments and you will end to enter into life. So Jesus has specifically spoken, repeated this commandment that was given to us in the Old Testament Jesus is not cancelling it, but rather he is stressing on it. He's underscoring it and showing how this commandment 
is not to be forgotten, far from being forgotten, it is supposed to be practiced with every fiber of our being. For this chastity that Jesus is talking of, that leads to life, this commandment, the commandments that lead to life, the commandment that talks about, that entails chastity, it calls for a training, a training that runs through our lives, that starts from when we are little and that will continue till we take our last breath. Chastity includes an apprenticeship in self-mastery. And yes, it is a training in human freedom. For if we train ourselves, if we apprentice ourselves to be our own masters rather than to be dominated by pleasures and to be a slave to our pleasures, we train ourselves in human freedom for we are free, free to decide what to do rather than our passions decide for us and we just be puppets in the hands of, of our unruly passions. So Jesus is pointing out the path to human freedom. For we know either man governs his passion and finds peace, or he lets himself be dominated by those very same passions and becomes utterly unhappy and miserable. And therefore the very dignity of a man requires that he acts out in his life and he acts out of a conscious and free choice. He has to make that free choice and that conscious choice. This is a very personal choice that man has to make. And this choice he makes from within. And he's no, and making such a choice, he's not being led by blind impulses in himself. He's not being forced by some external constraint. And man gains this dignity when he rids himself of all slavery to passions. And he presses forward to his goal by freely choosing what is good. And this is freedom, to be able to choose, freely choose what is good. And this art of self-mastery, man is called to strive by his diligence and skill to attain this. Yes, we are called to remain faithful to the baptismal promises and resist the temptations that assail us. And for this, we need to have self-knowledge. We need to practice self-mortification according to our, our state in life, the situations that confront us. We need to be obedient to God's commandments in order to be faithful to our baptismal promises and to resist temptations. Yes, we need to exercise the moral virtues and what is most important is we need to be to have that fidelity to prayer So if a chaste person maintains that integrity of the powers of life and love placed in him, that integrity that we saw, that, un that 
ensures the unity of a person, a person who is body and soul. We see that through chastity, that we are gathered together, we are led back to that unity. We who were fragmented into mon multiplicity because of sin, because of the wrong choices, being aimlessly led away into the by-lanes and lanes of life, beckoning, answering the calls of compromise, of duplicity, when we have been waylaid by the pleasures and the empty promises of the world, here with chastity, we see that we're being led back to that unity, we're being gathered together from where we have been fragmented. This virtue of chastity that we need to develop in our lives, this way that leads to life, this commandment, linked to this commandment that leads to life, it comes under the cardinal virtue of temperance. And we know that temperance seeks to permeate the passions and appetites of the senses with reason. And so we are led by reason. Our passions that are unruly, the passions that do not want to listen to reason, do not want to be led by reason, it is the virtue of temperance that seeks to permeate these passions and the appetites of our senses with reason. And yes, it is self-mastery, this long and exacting work which we can never consider to have acquired once and for all. So we are on a journey and we need to put on that renewed effort in all the stages of our life. And at certain stages, certain periods of our life, especially when the personality is being formed, such an effort needs to be most more intense as of during childhood and during adolescence. And the growth of charity progresses through stages marked by imperfection because of our sinful nature. As man daily builds himself through many of his free decisions As he knows, he loves and accomplishes moral good by stages of growth. So this growth in charity, charity represents a personal task and it's also a cultural effort. For both these are needed. in order to better ourselves. It's important that there should be improvements in the society and vice versa. Chastity presupposes respect for the rights of the person. In particular, the right to receive information and an education of the moral and spiritual dimensions of human life. So we see chastity is a moral virtue. And we know it is a gift from God, a grace fruit of spiritual effort 
and the Holy Spirit enables one whom the water of baptism has regenerated to imitate the purity of Christ. May we put on Christ. So we invite the Holy Spirit to enable us who are baptized in our lives. The water of baptism has regenerated to imitate the purity of Christ. And yes, we are called to practice chastity and to become a witness to our neighbor of God's fidelity and God's loving kindness. And this virtue of chastity blossoms in friendship. It shows the disciple how to follow and imitate him who has chosen us to be his friends. How to imitate the one who has given himself totally to us and who allows us to participate in his divine estate. Yes, chastity is the promise of immortality. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, this is a gift from God. And let us earnestly ask for this gift, which promises us immortality which blossoms in friendship brings us closer as disciples to follow Jesus who chose us to be his friends who leads us as he himself gave himself totally to us allowing us to participate in his divine estate We offer ourselves at this time to experience the mercy of our God in all that God has done for us he opened a way through mercy that we may live and exist eternally partaking in his divine nature his mercy draws us today the name of the Father and the Son, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You've expired, Spirit Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls. And, and the, the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fond of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a form of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a form of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a form of mercy for us, I trust in you. A Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of, of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord who, was who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus. Christ in atonement for our sins, for those of the whole world, for the sake of His sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake. With sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. With sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake. With sorrowful passion, and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake 
of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body Eaten and blood, blood soul and, and divinity, divinity of your dearly beloved son, son and our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world eternal father i of the body and blood so and divinity of your dearly beloved son oh jesus atonement for sins for those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion
with sorrowful passion. Sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the humble for the sake of his sorrowful passion and mercy. With sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Sorrowful passion and mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty word, holy immortal one, and mercy. Is endless, and, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look, Look kindly upon us, and, and increase your mercy in us, that, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today let us lay down our lives and all our burdens at the feet of the Lord. Let every care and worry that is written on our faces be an offering today. May we lay down all our rebellion. May we lay down all our pride at this time. May all the broken promises within this broken life, Lord, be also, O oh God, accomplished according to your promises, your will, your desires. Lord, we are holding nothing back from you at this time. Lord, we are ready to do all the things that you as have called us, Lord, to. Lord, today as we lift up our hands to praise you, may these hands, O oh Lord, reach, reach up to you. As we surrender our whole lives, Lord, may we experience, Lord, the power of freedom, that you came to give us freedom from all the idols that we let stand in the depths of our being, whom we secretly worship. Lord, we are holding 
on to the hope that is sure and that's resting in your hands, Lord. Let's lift up both our hands today and freely praise our Lord who has drawn us into his mercy, who has drawn us into his compassion. Today our God has come to fulfill his promise as he promised us. What is impossible for, impossible for man is possible with God. And Lord, today we believe all things are possible for you as we lift up our lives to you. Lord, let your power reign over our lives and life situations. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord, Praise Lord, us Lord, to your Jesus. glorious Lord, and mighty Lord, name. Jesus. You alone mighty are worthy Lord, to Lord, receive Jesus. honor, Thank glory, Jesus. and power. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Jesus, as you Lord, said, Lord, Matthew Lord, 6, 33, Lord, 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 as we seek first your Thank kingdom, you, Thank everything Jesus. else Thank will Jesus. be added unto Thank us. You, Lord, we approach your throne with praise today. And Lord, we approach, O Lord Jesus, your mercy today in the confidence of that Lord, you will Lord. transform everything for our Thank good you, at this Please, time Jesus. as we Thank reach Jesus. out to you, Thank Lord. You, Lord, as we Please, plead for your Lord, mercy Lord, to Lord, take Lord, control Lord, Lord, and have authority over Thank our life Lord, situations, Lord, Lord, Lord. come, Lord, Thank and Jesus. touch, Lord Jesus, our Thank hearts Lord, and our minds Lord, and our Jesus, being Jesus. at this time. Let the Please, glory Jesus. of your holy Thank and you, mighty Lord, presence, Lord, Lord Glory and the you, precious Lord, blood you, that you shed Praise for us, Jesus. wash away all Thank abomination, you, Lord, wash Lord, away Lord, all the Jesus. emptiness and void, Thank filling you, us with Thank you, Lord, new Lord, hope, Lord, Lord Jesus, Thank you, Jesus, and the joy of salvation Praise as you, Jesus. you touch Thank our Jesus. lives. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Jesus. Lord, 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 Praise Lord, you, Jesus. Jesus. Mercy, O oh Lord. Blessing, glory, Thank honor, you, power Lord, belong Praise to Jesus. you. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord. At this time, the Lord is blessing Jansi, Melvin, uh, Irma, uh, Lira. The Lord is also blessing Robert in a special way, who is asking the Lord for a blessing at this time the Lord is touching you and uh, let us also thank the Lord for his mercy that is flowing into the conditions of uh, two people who have a heart condition the Lord is his mercy is flowing into uh, the areas of the uh, affection uh, affected uh, valve of the heart the Lord is blessing and restoring to perfection at this time, miraculously the Lord is intervening into this heart condition. Let us thank Him and praise Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord is thank touching Jesus. a chronic back problem at this time. He is showing you, the Jesus. vertebra, uh, one single vertebra. Thank the Lord you, is touching at this time. Thank you, Jesus. Also freeing you from this pain that has been tormenting uh, for many, many years together. There's someone who has a lingering pain in the right hand. The Lord is touching that right hand. It is a person who has, who's um, had been having multiple evil relationships. The Lord is asking this person to relinquish all these relationships that drag unto destruction and death. Someone with the pain in the shoulder blade is being touched. Thank you, Father. And the lumps in the body that are disappearing. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let us praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord is blessing Tia, Margaret, Tina, Joshi. The Lord is also giving this name Arun. The Lord is. Thank calling you, you closer Praise to his love, Thank you, Jesus. Mala, Tanya, Marcia, and uh, Laren, the Lord is blessing you thank at this you, time. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father, for the thank calling. You. We thank you for, for also releasing us from the afflictions and bondages and also the grip of any kind of fear that has been also a part of the mind and heart and misleading us 
in being less confident in handling and also dealing with the work situations the lord is healing at this time praise you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus praise you jesus anthony is being touched by the lord vivek janus luella portia and monica thank you lord Thank you Jesus praise you, praise Jesus. you Thank Jesus. Jesus thank you Lord Thank you, the Lord, Lord is healing a person of the hip problem you you have had an hip pain for a long time now it has disappeared thank the Lord and praise him for his marvelous loving touch on your hip at this time thank you jesus thank you jesus, thank you, jesus. hazel jesus. the lord is blessing you at this time lord, lord is lord also lord giving lord. Thank you, jesus. Uh, thank a revelation jesus. of a marriage alliances being fixed and uh, for a long time you have been waiting but the lord has permitted this wait so that he could provide you the right person who was intended for from all eternity for you thank him and praise him thank you lord thank you, jesus. praise you thank jesus. jesus thank you lord hallelujah 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 pavelos the lord is blessing you thank you jesus thank praise you jesus a person who has thank undergone a surgery Thalisha. involving Thalisha. the head Thalisha. the lord is touching a person who has been asked to take an x-ray and the x-ray results show also infection in the chest the lord is miraculously intervening into the situation and healing at this time thank you jesus praise you jesus thank you thank lord thank you jesus thank Mercy you jesus thank you lord thank you father thank you lord Hallelujah. let us kneel down to receive the blessing of the lord at this time let us open our heart to the loving touch of his mercy upon all our, all our ailments the lord is also healing chronic headaches at this time uh, migraine the lord is moving at this time praise you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus hallelujah praise hallelujah, you, hallelujah. Jesus. thank you jesus lord we believe in the power of your mercy that is flowing at this time come savior of the world redeemer of our souls you restore us lord into your love bless us thank you father thank you jesus thank, thank you lord jesus, thank you, jesus. come savior come lord come thank redeemer you, thank come you, hope thank you, jesus. come lord jesus mercy thank and jesus, compassion thank flow you, jesus, today thank you, jesus, thank, you, jesus. thank you lord praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord mercy o lord and and savior thank you father thank you jesus thank you lord o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine o sacrament most holy o sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine 